What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now today on my live stream, I'm going to be checking out a game that I actually love a ton and I've been playing it for a very long time, pretty much since it first launched, and that game is Squad. Now, I'm going to be putting in a ton of playtime because apparently there was a brand new update for this game which completely revamped the whole style of it, the graphics, the lighting, everything. Apparently, it looks gorgeous right now. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put in about five to six hours of playtime in today, starting about two hours after this video goes live. So, at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, you can go over to my Twitch channel, which the link to that is down in the description, and you can catch me play this game pretty much all day long, trying to stack up clips and form an opinion on if the update improved this game or or if it more than likely made it worse. Now, I am going to be going ahead and making a video about this game probably tomorrow, so keep your eyes peeled if you're interested in more information about this title and also more gameplay as well. But if you do want to be a part of the process and see how I go ahead and review these games on stream and you know how I get my footage, then by all means, stop into the stream. There's tons of fantastic people over there. And also, one last thing as well, if you do want to catch any other social media, not just Twitch, I do have a Twitter and a Discord account. Both the links to those things are in the description as well. But ladies and gentlemen, it seems with Battlefield 2042, people are pretty much losing hope with the whole game. Instead of people trying to be critical of the game and provide feedback and stuff like that, I believe the community is kind of past that point. After being ignored for so many steps through the process here, and just being forced all of this crap and being told that we're not going to get content on top of the game, just being absolutely awful with bugs and glitches... Nobody cares anymore. I mean, you can go through the Reddit page and pretty much every single post over there is a joke, a meme, or just straight up roasting or bashing the game or ranting about the product. There's nothing positive. Nobody is saying anything nice about this game. Everything is bad. Even Battlefield friends over on YouTube, they finally put out a video for Battlefield 2042, and pretty much the whole thing was just straight up bashing every single thing that goes wrong with Battlefield 2042, which I tell you, it's a lot of stuff. People's animations going absolute bonkers, like 2D Mario, weapon nerfs, horrible map design, weird crap that just goes on within the game, absolutely obliterating this title. And it's even to the point where the developers are even laughing about this as well. They're watching this and they're just cracking up, and I mean, it's hard not to crack up because it's a fantastic series over on YouTube. Pretty much everybody knows it and loves it. But I just think it's so ironic that even the developers of this game are getting such a chuckle and a laugh out of the failure of Battlefield 2042. Again, not really too many people are taking it serious right now. If you talk about Battlefield 2042 or if you, you know enjoy the social scene of this game, usually it's just to roast it. You know, nobody is really forming any groups around trying to get better at the game or trying to improve certain, you know, aspects of the game, trying to find bugs or glitches. No, it's either people like me who are, you know, continuously reporting to you guys the news and the backstories to what's going on with DICE or the production of the game or people completely roasting the game or, like I said, people making an absolute joke out of it like Battlefield Friends over on YouTube. And again, it's not just YouTube. That makes Battlefield 2042 an absolute meme. I mean, mainstream media has completely picked up this game, especially thanks to the petition that we all went ahead and signed to try to make a big deal for refunds, which actually got over 200000 thousand people to go ahead and sign the overall petition thank you to each and every one of you guys who participated in this thing or even spread the word to family and friends or anybody else who has suffered through the whole battlefield 2042 experience you have really done a fantastic thing here because more than likely we're not really going to go ahead and get a refund but the main purpose of this was to make sure the word got out there let people know and make a fool out of EA for forcing out such a awful product, and it did. Now mainstream media is completely covering Battlefield 2042 to the point where pretty much anybody out there who isn't even a gamer probably knows of the absolute failure of a game that Battlefield turned out to be. And yes, I gotta admit, it's pretty fun and also hilarious to go ahead and roast Battlefield 2042 for all the things they've done wrong and just, you know, absolutely be <laughs> just amazed with the changes they made in the current title. But at the same time, it's not because I don't know if this game will ever be able to redeem itself. It is now completely certified as a meme game. You know, no potential. Battlebit, a game that looks like Roblox, is more official right now and is taken more seriously than Battlefield 2042. At this point, the franchise has just made an absolute fool of itself. And like I said earlier, even on Reddit, which is a fantastic source of fans of titles to go ahead and put out content 
for these games, you know, make the games that they're playing and talking about look good or even give constructive criticism and stuff like that. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, Reddit's a completely toxic environment. Look at all the Call of Duty pages. But a lot of these Call of Duty games have been absolutely awful recently. And if we're really going to go ahead and talk about Call of Duty Reddit, going back to one of the more popular games, Modern Warfare, during that game's life cycle, the Reddit was actually pretty mixed. I would see tons of negative things, obviously, because not everybody enjoyed the game, including myself. But at the same time, their feed was filled with a ton of people giving the game praise and talking very positive about the title and why they enjoy it. It had a legitimate fan base that enjoyed the game, and it never turned out to be a meme game, you know, or anything that's just absolute garbage. You go on the Battlefield 2042 subreddit. Every single post, like I said earlier, is just absolutely mocking the game, roasting the game, uh, making fun of different bugs and glitches, or even making memes like this one right here, which I thought was pretty funny. It says, when you will check the scoreboard in June. <laughs> Just knowing that it's going to be absolute bots everywhere because the game is already pretty dead. I've been mentioning this in every single one of my videos. Every lobby I join is toast. It starts off as a 15 versus 15 and we're talking about around 10 to 15 minutes just to get half the lobby filled up. And then by the 20 minute mark, yeah, it's probably filled by then, but that's completely unreasonable. This has never been an issue in any Battlefield game to date where you can't fill up a lobby. And honestly, I want to put the main blame on not having a server browser because if we had a server browser, nobody would get booted, we'll be able to find the same match over and over again, and then we as players would know which lobbies are populated, which ones are not, and we can get a good experience. But since server browsers are non-existent nowadays and we have to rely on EA to, you know, filter us through their matchmaking, which once again, the game is already dead... You can't find anything. It's just bots. So yeah, when scoreboard does come, <laughs> I'm going to be topping the scoreboard every single damn time because it's going to be bots absolutely everywhere. Here's actually another good image I found on Reddit as well. It says, EA and DICE, when they see people aren't grinding for the tactical beanie. If you guys remember, they completely put the blame on Halo Infinite releasing during the same time. Remember, Halo Infinite had a little surprise launch here and they released the game early. So EA thinks for some strange reason N not completely it's halo's fault but they think a partial reason for the failure of battlefield 2042 is halo infinite launching at the same time and showing them up <laughs> which is completely false because halo number one is a completely different title battlefield and halo are nothing alike they're two completely different play styles the reason halo popped off is because it feels like a halo game and the reason battlefield failed is because it doesn't feel like a battlefield game it's as simple as that and also those weekly challenges are absolute garbage you know what i'm saying they are horrifying and i gotta say the jet camo is pretty cool the recent one they released for us but these past camos, the beanie, the charms, everything has been just absolutely horrible and has given us no reason to come back and play their game. But again, who's to blame here? Well, obviously Halo Infinite. I mean, shoot, the only memorable thing that's in Battlefield 2042 is a meme. And that's Angel. Angel does it again. Every time you hear Battlefield 2042, that phrase instantly pops into mind. And it's hilarious, honestly. I've seen so many good memes and so many jokes come out of that. But that's about it. That's what makes Battlefield 2042 good. Battlefield has given us laughs. It's given us jokes. It's given us good content on YouTube. But other than that, the game's an absolute ripoff. And I don't want to see Battlefield go down this road. Battlefield used to be taken so seriously. And it was one of the best military shooters out there. And they used to be able to joke around as well in their games and be able to keep a nice balance between jokes and actual, you know, military action. They're very good at that, but the new dice seems to be stumbling around and they don't know how to find that nice balance or that in-between that they need to get to in order to get everything running smoothly. But ladies and gentlemen, do me a massive favor. Go down in the comment section and let me know who's still sticking around, who's still playing Battlefield 2042, grinding it out, hoping for the best, looking for new updates and new patch notes, or who stopped playing. Who gave up the game? And also, which one of you guys was lucky enough to get refunds? Because I've heard multiple things about PlayStation issuing out refunds, surprisingly. Uh, Steam is still giving out refunds as well. It's a 50-50 chance. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. But I've had multiple people come to me already in the past week saying that Steam has issued, you know, full refunds for the title. Which one of you lucky dogs out there has been able to get their cash back from this disaster? <laughs> Let me know down in the comment section. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for tuning into this video. 
liking you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like bums i hate it leave a dislike also if you're brand new and enjoy the content don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button also want to chat me there's two ways to do so if you're in discord both those links are down in the description and also want to catch me live streams of video games over on twitch link that's in the description as well but guys thanks so much for tuning in see you on the next one peace out